Do you struggle preparing for bass tournaments? Do you just show up and fish the day of, or do you have a plan of action? Guys, today on the channel, on the Fishing Coach channel, you're about to see me in coach mode. Two anglers. End of the week, gonna jump on my boat and fish. We're gonna fish a high school tournament. I'm gonna be the boat captain. It's my first tournament of the year as a boat captain. And guys, I'm out here on a lake uh, that I'm not familiar with. You know, I mean, I, I just moved to the area, but on this lake limited. But I'm gonna kind of go through my process. We're gonna have footage, hopefully, of the kids fishing in the tournament. And guys, I'm just excited to kind of share my thought and process with you with this guy. So if you're a boat captain for kids, this can help you. Or if you're just a tournament angler or getting new to tournaments, let's go get into it. Okay, guys, so we're at Lake Hamilton. Uh, it's a lake I grew up hating. I mean, I caught fish on it, you know, but as y'all found out lately at times, I've came out here and caught them really, really good. Now, the first thing, though, about this tournament and about this situation, my two kids, they're senior kids. I've not had them in the boat this year with me, okay? Uh, it's been a while since they've been in the boat. Uh, we did have a high school tournament last year in March where these two jumped in the boat with me. We got to go down to Cattle Lake in Louisiana. We got to um, practice for a day together and then ended up getting second in the event. And uh, Rem had big bass maybe or maybe second big bass, but he has personal best over six pounds. So they got to go through the thought process, thought process, the process of breaking down a lake, finding fish, and us having a successful tournament. That was on the body water I've never been to. So that was pretty cool. So guys, these two anglers, though, just, just kind of get into it these two anglers i i gotta know their strengths i gotta try to help find fish for them not for me jimmy might want to go out there in the middle right now and throw the live scope but that ain't gonna win this tournament okay the weather this week is warm man guys i'm out here gonna be in a t-shirt okay I'm about, man, I'm about to be sweating so this week it's pretty crazy how the weather's warming up things are happening all right so as these things are happening i gotta be able to adjust and put them on potential areas and patterns and us feedback off each other on their strengths. Both these kids can fish shallow. They can flip Texas rigs. They can throw crankbaits, bladed jigs. So I'm going to take their strengths and try to do the best I can to put them in areas of success and water of success. So for example, I'm out here on Main Lake Point. Rock, right? What I've been doing is I'm on this end of the lake. I don't know if y'all can tell. I'm on the end of the lake, so it's Tuesday. Saturday, I think Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we'll have some windy days. And it's gonna be a northwest wind to west wind. So I'm on the end of the lake right now that's gonna be hitting that west wind. Guys, I've already graphed for about an hour. I'm not out here long, but I've just been graphing, looking at areas where the wind's gonna hit. Cause I plan on with us throwing them crankbaits, bladed jigs, traps, uh, and we could potentially throw a jig and swing head jig and stuff. But uh, we're gonna, I wanna be trying to do some power fishing with them is we're gonna hit a lot of areas. We're about to hit a lot of areas. So we're gonna be running and gunning, but I'm gonna be looking for areas with wind blowing. I've been looking for rock transitions. I have been looking uh, for wood, even wood for us to flip, okay? Now guys, I've already found some bait fish, and like I said, these two haven't been in the boat with me, so I really don't wanna go and try to scope. I really don't wanna try to go do that with them. Now we can maybe go scope a brush pile, which I've already marked some brush too, guys. There's a thousand brush piles in this place. Um, but I'm not gonna put them in here, and, and I can't fish, right? I can't fish. Got, got to stand back here and coach but i'm not going to try to put them in a position to where like hey let's go out here in 50 foot 30 foot and try to do that and i don't know if that's going to be the thing anyway so with these anglers and for you you got to know your strengths you can't go chase the dock talk you can't go chase the bite so if you're getting ready as a tournament angler you cannot like I said go do what you're seeing you kind of got to go do your strengths now practice time is time to play but with this warm week guys there's gonna be fish out gonna be fish shallow i mean I, i'm surprised some fish might not be bedding not on this lake but somewhere in arkansas some fish are moving up to bed okay this is what it is okay potentially right water temperature i'm seeing is 52 right now and guys uh like i mentioned on traps and crankbaits i'm just gonna show you a couple okay i got a couple on got a couple on right here um uh, there you go yep okay little dt6 then i got a little got a little lipless crankbaits all kind of tied up right now i guess i can show y'all yep Little lipless crankbait, okay? So I'm gonna try to have, and a bladed jig, the bladed jig is in the box. Uh, but I'm gonna try to mark a bunch of areas. I've already been marking them. Like, hey, I like this, I like this. Cause I think there's two tournaments out here and guys, this lake gets a lot of pressure. So I'm on the upper end right now, middle to upper. The lower end might be the best area of the lake. There's a lot of tournaments here, a lot of fish get released, but the area has been getting pounded from the last tournaments, been getting pounded by pressure. <laughs> Excuse me. And I'm, I might try to run away from boats if i see if i feel a lot of boats are down there i'm gonna try to get away okay um and and that's just kind of my thought right now I sometimes i mean i don't like fishing around people i can right i mean 
I do at times, but like I'd rather not and put my kids in a spot where they're not kind of competing and we can kind of go. So I've just been running up and down the lake, marking stuff, seeing stuff, kind of getting visually in my mind what I see. Now I could do some of this on Google Earth, and I am, but I got to come out here for a little bit and just kind of share y'all guys my thought process, okay? Uh, water clarity is starting to get clean up here, by the way, guys. It is starting to get more clean. This lake's been muddy for a while. It's kind of getting clean. We've not had any rain. It's going to be clean by the Saturday. Uh, but guys, so hopefully this segment helps that we're about to now. Let's go get the tournament footage going. Morning, guys. Here we are at Lake Hamilton. Introduce yourselves. Uh, my name's Casey Willard. Uh, Remington Miller. Guys, appreciate y'all watching today's video and being along the ride. We're going to see how this tournament goes out. Conditions today. It was actually cold last night. 38, 39 degrees. My man, my man rims in shorts. <laughs> these scrappers are tough. Anyway, these dudes are tough. We're out here today. Like I said, it's pretty cold. Look, we got a full moon. Where's it at? Curious how the fish are going to act and do today. Um, I thought it was going to be warmer throughout the week. So we're still going to run our pattern. We're going to fish shallow. We're going to power fish. And um, eventually, you might go out there deep. I don't know. But we'll see. Boat. Get to my pond. And I don't want that Alabama rig. Hey. Good fish. That's a good first fish. We're catching fish before the boats are even taken off. Here we go. <laughs> Bubba says. Bubba says we got a one and a half pounder. That's number one. Throw the dude out there. You better learn. Uh, you, you, cut, you cut a little short. Bring it in short in real quick. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Kill it. Kill it. All right, start working it. Start working it. Dude, I just, you just want me to reel this? Just kind of shake. Oh. There you go. He got him. He got him. Bubba says it is 1-9. Oh, yeah. Oh, that ain't a bass. Oh, it's not, man. Dang. Wow. What is that? It's a dang walleye. Little update, guys. It's a little colder today than we expected. I mean, the fish ain't liking it, that's for sure. We got four fish in the box. Missed a couple. Oh, uh, I thought he was about to set the hook on something. Missed a couple. Lost a couple. Well, that's okay. Uh, but we're hoping they, they turn on. But it's been a lot harder than I expected today. Bet you we thrown at, uh, how many we thrown at, you think? Oh, uh, every bit of it. 100, 100 fish. We've thrown it 100 fish. There's been a couple of brush piles have been loaded spots. We do have a big in the box, but it's not a bass, is it? It's not a bass. Buddy. It's not a bass. We found a group of fish on a rock spot off a of point, guys, and I was fired up, like telling them four to six pound fish. They didn't want the swim bait, didn't want a jig, uh, didn't want Texas rig, and then we threw the Alabama rig, and they were walleye, a big group of walleye. And the guys, they were like on a main lake point off of it. There's a rock spot, bait fish around. There's some giant stripers. No blacks. Yeah. I, I, I saw it happen. Let it fight to keep. I'm not even. I'm gonna have to cut it because I don't want to kill it. Tell us me about y'all's day. It was good. Uh, it was tough, but good. What did we not do? Uh, execute. execute. There we go. Execute. <laughs> execute. We had a tough day of execution. We just lost a three pounder there, guys, right uh, in the last 10 minutes. We lost a couple other fish today. There we go. That's a good one. There we go. Small mouth. A little small mouth action. Guys, we're going to talk about the recap 
and share how this dude right here saved our day okay this little swim bait right here saved our day and if you watched all the video from the beginning to now you're probably like hey jimmy did it, it looks like jimmy did it the opposite of what he wanted to do guys i don't know what happened over the weekend the week with the full moon the warm weather the cold front the big fish were not cooperating and dude fishing was tough it was not easy saturday not easy for us got a lot of ports from for a lot of people man and it just wasn't it wasn't easy it was a tough weekend and i was not expecting that i really wasn't and the fish man dude they did not want to cooperate and so we did the shallow fishing a lot of the day fished the wind banks fished the transitions we flipped we caught one fish flipping and guys it um it was tough is all i'm gonna say so as much as i know about this and finding fish offshore i saw that shallow bite wasn't happening and it could have happened any time someone probably come shallow but i just didn't have confidence with, with us doing it so I, I took my strengths and went to kids and tried to teach them how to find and catch fish offshore and we caught fishing but we just didn't execute you saw there in the last hour we caught a good one and then lost two you saw one loss i didn't throw the other one in there but we lost another one and early in the morning um we caught that one real quick and lost one there so guys it's just there's some opportunities we missed when the fish were biting okay it was a tough day and um it was tough at multiple lakes from talking to a bunch of people i don't know what it was with the warm weather full moon cold front but man i, I don't know the fish just were not acting right okay um which is just about the springtime which is just one thing about the spring that i just you know it's not i mean spring it's gonna get cold again but it's like it's just an early spring it's february still and that's one thing why i love fishing in the straight winter and straight summer okay i'd rather it be 35 degrees for a whole two weeks and the fish can be there and you know I, anyway i'm not gonna get into it and summer i love 120 degree days this, this, anyway but this time of year the weather fluctuates moon dude it just makes it tougher but with this guy and this you can sometimes overcome it okay now there's other ways too i know from fishing but for you guys just know me and my channel what i do um so guys i enjoyed having raymond casing in the boat it was a blast they were down on themselves for not executing not put all the fish in the boat they won't have a big tournament but their time's going to come for a big tournament we still got more tournaments commissioner cup coming up but guys let's talk about this so we caught two of our fish on shaky heads light shaky heads with the zoom finesse worm one flipping and then we caught our two biggest on this but lost i know two more key fish later in the day it's a three eighths ounce jig head with a rapala crush city the mayor swim bait uh anything right now that jacob wheeler has a part of i think is a good bait and uh, so, you know, when the, these came out, I decided to pick them up. And my thought process, too, was if they're new, they've not, the fish haven't seen them yet. So I'm all about trying new stuff. So, guys, this was our uh, bait and what we were throwing it on, okay? Guys, you saw I got Pal Rods now. I'm about to be, I'm partnered up with Pal. Excited about it. This is seven foot medium fast, okay? And, you know, I, I, I've caught some fish with I like. It's a light, light rod. I know you guys have seen me with the Nolly for a year and a half. And, um, uh, Love Denali rods, but just uh, trying to be with power right now. So I'm excited about the power rods. It's the endurance, okay? And um, and guys, just um, I guess just talk more about the day, man. Like it uh, that was one thing. Once I saw the the shallow bite wasn't working, fishing the wind, the crankbaits, it just was not happening. It's hard for me to continue that and not try something else. And even the fish offshore, they were not easy to catch. They were not easy to catch. Now, one thing that was tough was for me. As the boat captain and the coach i didn't get a day of practice with them or a day to fish and try to show them how to do some of the stuff offshore make the cast work the lures and, and in the tournament i can't touch a rod and reel okay i mean i can hand it to them you know but i can't like make cast whatever right so that was the only thing that was hard about this tournament uh so i like to be hands-on like to you know show and teach but it was just that was tough about it that day so guys uh, i had a blast with them if you have any questions on the video or on the fishing trip man let me know uh, right now i know like, i enjoy having kids in the boat i got I've, I've had a i've had one electronic lesson with a high school kid recently and i got more coming up i have a team that's wanting a live scope lesson a brand new high school team wanting to know how to use a live scope and i got a couple others interested as well so guys if you're a high school angler or like i said an adult and i got two adult trips this week i mean one dude's guy has been fishing long i mean i think they've both been fishing for a long time but one of them's been fishing for a long time he's probably forgot more about fishing than i know which is crazy thing about but like i'm excited about you know to help teach him about this and i'm going to learn some some little things as well so
appreciate it guys thank you for tuning in to another video on the fishing coach youtube channel i'm trying to make as much content as i can but man with my electronic lessons and guiding it's uh it has been tough but we're gonna keep at it see you guys on the next one